Hi there, welcome back to Get Gardening. Today's episode we're going to make a cold frame that I've wanted for years. My father helped me make it in Indiana and now we're putting it back together here in Chicago. But I wanted to show you my flowers real fast since everything's looking good. The yucca opened up over here. It's huge. The verbena bonariensis is starting to open and the banana tree is looking good and my dahlia in the red garden just opened today. It's red. Let's look at these real fast. Some annuals, bachelor buttons and cosmos, daisies. The heleniums are looking really nice. And the daisies just look so wonderful. Such a nice drift of them. I want to bring some in the house, but I can't bring it to myself to cut them. I love that the lilies have started opening. All oh, these are looking so beautiful. Well, let me take you over to go see what we're working on with the cold frame. Like a stash and some roses and status. So this is what we're making and it's a good thing that my father is more of a carpenter than I am. He's able to help make these plans. I'll attach this in the link below. It was actually pretty easy to make. What we did is we took two by sixes that were measured to 61 inches in length and you need six of them, two in the front and four in the back. Then you need plywood and we cut that to be 37 and a half inches and then you attach these two by twos to the top and to the bottom of it. And so we have those over there you can see. And they're gonna go on the sides. And the only other thing you needed to do, which was the most difficult bit, was the top. And we could not find an acrylic panel that was the exact size that we needed. So we had to make it different and this is how it turned out in front of me right here. It looks nice, but it was the most difficult bit, and um, if you are going to try and build one yourself, you just might need to try and find a better, longer, wider acrylic panel. We didn't. So we just had to finagle it to fit a side window on here, because the two windows are actually smaller. So we disassembled everything in Indiana and now we're going to put it back together. Well, this is the finished product. It has been up for a couple of days and I've already started using it. I've needed to prop open one of the windows because it gets quite hot in here. But I already started germinating some of my sunflowers that I like to start for the fall. I also started some Cosmos and uh, Mina Lobeta climbing vine and I also found some old elephant ear bulbs that I noticed were still alive, so I figured I'd let them grow in here for a little bit. I'm really excited that I have this done. I've wanted one of these for years, and I'm really thankful for my dad for helping me with this because I could never have done this on my own. I can't wait to use it throughout the whole year, start all my seeds off a little bit earlier in spring, hopefully grow some things throughout the winter time in here as well. If you have one of these, I'm really interested to know what you're able to do in the winter and if you have any tips for plants that you grow in here, I'd love to hear from you. Thank you guys so much for watching. I'll see you next time. Get out there and get gardening.